Good morning Year 5 and welcome back. Here are your answers to yesterday's ratio problems. Uh, there will be a still if you keep the video rolling and you want to have a closer look. I have tried to include a little bit of working out to help you. And again, if you did yours in a slightly different way, but you got the same answer and you can explain mathematically what you did, then that's absolutely fine. OK, so today we're going to go one step further and we're going to think about how we use ratio to solve a problem which has two steps, not necessarily both of which being ratio. So it's just an extension of what we did yesterday. I'm going to do an example for you and then you've got some to do uh, at home. So the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls at the theme park is three to seven. There are 24 boys at the theme park. If they have to pay £50 each to enter the theme park, find the total amount of ticket cost the girls have to pay. So again, it's quite wordy. There's quite a lot in there and we are going to have to do more than one step to find the answer. So first of all, just like yesterday, I'm just going to make it a bit clearer for myself by just putting my ratio in words and numbers underneath. So we've gone back to two relative sizes. In your sheet, you will have... Um, some with two and some with three. Okay, so that's my ratio. And I know there are 24 boys at the theme park. So this is the ratio part of the problem. If I know that there are 24 boys, then I can work out the number of girls. I need to know that because my, the question is actually asking me how much the girls have to pay. So three to 24, my multiplying factor is eight. So if I've done that to the boys, I have to also do it to the girls. And 7 times 8 makes 56. So I now know there are 56 girls in the theme park. That's my first step. Now I need to work out how much they have to pay. So I have to do a multiplication here of 56 multiplied by 50. There are different ways to do this. You could, of course, do a written method if you want to. My personal preference for multiplying by 50 is to multiply by 100 and then half it. But it doesn't matter how you do it. I'm going to do it both ways to tell you. So 56 times 100, well, we know when we times by 100, the digits move two places to the left. So 56 times 100 is 5,600. And then half of 5,600 is 2,800, okay? Or you could have said, well, I know how to do multiplication in a written method, so I'm going to do it like this. So I've got zero times six and zero times five there, okay? And then I've got five tens times six. Well, five tens times six, 50 times six is 300. So I've got three in my hundreds. I've got no tens and I've got no ones. I've then got five tens times five tens. So that gives me 25 hundreds and I've already got my three giving me 28. So either way you get the answer 2,800, which means the girls had to pay a whopping 2,800 pounds altogether. So for these problems, you are going to have to use your ratio knowledge, but you're also going to have to pull on some previous work on multiplication, division, and possibly addition and subtraction as well. So I have some problems for you to do. Have a little go, and then I will come back tomorrow with your answers.